I'm Kelly Triber, Vice President of Engineering and Marketing at Marine Electrical Equipment. We're here to demonstrate the Vessel Ground Fault Check Unit. Recently, the NFPA has changed their standard, requiring all marinas and boatyards to check for AC ground fault current leakage, both on an annual basis and initial plug-in. Up until now, compliance has been difficult because there's no way to really isolate the test vessel from the marina's wiring, which usually have multiple layers of ground fault protective devices meaning test vessels would cause widespread power outages to neighboring vessels or marinas, which is why we've developed our portable vessel ground fault check unit, which we're going to demonstrate today. Let's demonstrate some of the features of the portable isolating vessel ground fault check unit. Comes encased in an all stainless steel powder coated enclosure, large pneumatic wheels for easy portability, as well as a large handle, neutral ground bond alarm, six foot male 50 amp cord inlet. This is a standard unit we can manufacture custom configurations as well. A 50 amp outlet as well as a 30 amp outlet and a large backlit LCD display on the ground fault relay. Let's demonstrate how this unit functions. First step is we're going to wheel the unit up to the host power pedestal ensuring that all the circuit breakers in the unit are off as well as all the breakers in the power pedestal are off. Then we're going to take our inlet and plug into the appropriate outlet on the, on the host power pedestal. Then take the vessel's cord with the vessel plugged in and plug into the appropriate outlet on the unit. Now we can energize the breaker in the host power pedestal. And then we're going to note the reading on the digital display. Next step we're going to test for is the presence of erroneous neutral ground bonds, which is the most prevalent form of ground faults in vessels and marinas. As soon as you plug in, if the presence of that bond is sensed, this alarm is going to go off. If you encounter this alarm, there's no sense in testing any further, and the vessel cannot be permitted to plug into the AC shore power system of the marina. No further testing is required. If we pass test one, then we can test each circuit on board the vessel. Find the appropriate circuit breaker on the unit according to the proper outlet you're plugged into. In this case, we're plugged into a 30 amp. We're going to energize the 30 amp breaker. Energize the main breaker on the test vessel and monitor the LCD display. Any reading you find on this indicates problem with the wiring on the boat. Take a note of this reading. Now we're going to move on to the next circuit. For example, a water heater or a uh, air conditioner. We're going to go on the boat, energize that circuit breaker and actually load it. The key is to load each circuit. So in the example of a water heater, you turn the circuit breaker on and you actually make sure that water heater is calling for hot water. Then we're going to monitor the display. In this case, this water heater is leaking 20 milliamps. Take a note of this reading, de-energize that circuit, and we're going to move on to the next circuit. For example, an air conditioner. We'll turn the air conditioner circuit on, and we're going to call for either heat or cool air, and we're going to monitor the reading. In this case, it's leaking 20 milliamps. We're going to note that reading. We're going to do this sequentially for every circuit on board, make sure we note all of the readings, and if we exceed more than 30 milliamps of cumulative leakage, this vessel is not permitted to be plugged into the AC shore power system until all the faults are corrected. The ground fault relay with the LCD display is programmed to go into an alarm status at 100 milliamps of ground fault leakage current, in which case it will show the elapsed time of which the fault was detected. In this case, there's no point in further testing as this boat has serious issues that need to be resolved before it's allowed to plug into the AC shore power system. After the test has been completed, we'll go through the shutdown procedure. First, we're going to de-energize the vessel main. Then we're going to work back and de-energize all the circuit breakers on the vessel ground fault check unit. And finally, we're going to de-energize the host power pedestal circuit breaker. Unplug the vessel and unplug the vessel ground fault check unit. Now we can move on to test the next vessel, or if we've completed our testing, We'll store this in a nice dry place 
indoors. So today we've demonstrated our isolating vessel ground fault check unit, shown the different tests you can run to pinpoint dangerous circuits, which might be leaking dangerous ground fault currents into the water, as well as helping the boaters determine where their problems might lie aboard. We've shown its ease of use, how you can uh, bring this to the host power pedestal and bring this to the vessel as opposed to bringing the vessel to a centralized piece of test equipment. We can manufacture these to suit any need and we're happy to help you. If you have any questions, give us a call, go on our website. We're happy to help. Thank you.